Hello everybody, welcome to this week's Sneaker Wrap, the episode where we look back at the week that was and look ahead to the week that may well be in sneakers. If you guys like this type of sneaker content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna keep up with me in real time, be sure to go over to my IG and drop me a follow over there. And if you are on TikTok, you can also go and check me out over there. First of all, let's talk about some of the sneakers that dropped this week, and there really were only a couple worth mentioning. The first of which was the Air Max 95 Cortez, which dropped in Paris to much ruckus and much virality. No doubt you guys would have seen the scenes play out online where young Parisian men were jumping on top of buses, beating each other up, and generally going bananas for these black and blue Air Max 95s. These also dropped last night on the Cortez website and they dropped today in London via the sneakers cam. Did you guys manage to pick up a pair of these? Have you jumped on the Cortez hype as yet? And what do you think of this collab in general? Feel free to let me know. The other big release was today we had the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the pine green or the Celtics colorway and these pretty much sold out quickly on the Nike sneakers in all of the popular sizes. There are still smaller sizes and massive sizes still sitting if you are either hobbit footed or boat footed. I personally passed on these, although it is the nicest Jordan 1 colorway we've had in a while. How did you guys go? Feel free to let me know. Right, before we talk about some exciting new sneakers, let's jump into the news really quick. And one of the biggest stories this week was Nigo signing with Nike. Now, if you don't know who Nigo is, he is the guy that literally founded Bathing Ape. Yes, the same Bathing Ape that took inspiration from the Air Force One to create the Bapester, and yes, the same bathing ape that is currently embroiled in a legal battle with Nike to this day. Now, Nigo left the brand ages ago and has been working with high fashion houses and Adidas with his own human-made brand. And so it's interesting to see Nike teaming up again with a former foe turned friend. We saw the same thing happen recently with Cortez, and now with Nigo. We don't know exactly what is coming out yet. The rumors are that we may see some details on this collab early next year. I think it is a great move for Nike. Nigo comes with a lot of cred and a lot of clout in the industry and can only help to continue to propel the swoosh forward. What do you guys think about this signing? A pair of game-worn Air Jordan 13s sold this week at Sotheby's for $2.2 million. To put that into perspective, the previous record was held by a pair of game-worn Air ships that went for something like 1.4, 1.5. And so this sale absolutely eclipses that previous record. This pair was certified and authenticated and photo matched to game two of the 98 NBA Finals and so continues to demonstrate the demand for sports collectibles and memorabilia. In particular, anything worn by MJ the Goats. What do you guys think about these? Some exciting release info pertaining to one of the sneakers that I'm most looking forward to this year, the Holiday Air Jordan 11, the DMP. Now they are set to produce over a million pairs of these which I think is great because my 2011 pair of Concords are definitely in need of replacing. All right, so let's talk about some first looks of some exciting new sneakers, and we have to start with these. These have had everybody talking, the Jordan 1 High Union Collab. Now, if you start at the top of the shoe and just slowly work your way down like a 1999 JPEG loading on your computer, you will be nodding your head thinking, yeah, 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 these are looking good as the picture's loading. And then right as you arrive beneath the belt line or the swoosh, things start to go a little bit awry. You see, you have this Nike footscape weave that pretty much wraps around the entirety of the shoe, making it look half shoe and half baseball, or making it look like a sneaker that was inspired by having your foot run over by someone on a mountain bike. The quality looks awesome. The colorway is simple, clean, can't fault the colorway. And I do respect Union for doing something a little bit different. But for me, these just ain't it. I don't know, maybe my attitude towards these will change over time, but my initial reactions are not that great. What do you guys think of these? Are these a hit? Or are these a miss? Let me know. Bape and Adidas are teaming up for a forum low to celebrate 20 years of partnership. You have the traditional ABC camo upper in the green and also in the blue. And I don't know, there's just something about them just looks a bit 
cheap to me. Definitely prefer the green pair. I'd be up for a pair of the greens. Definitely not the blue. What do you guys think? Let me know. Devin Booker is releasing his very own Chuck and he must have been talking to Jound recently and consulting him for design inspiration because these are understated. You know when you start off with a blank piece of paper and you draw the outline of the shoe that you're going to design. Once that outline was finished, he was like, that's the shoe. We're done here. I don't know. They are clean for sure, obviously. But what do you guys think? First really good look at the Adidas Bad Bunny Campus in the olive colorway and these look nice. I'm a big fan of the Bad Bunny Campus. You guys can check my review on the all white pair. I like this colorway. I'll be going for these. What do you guys think? Adidas aren't slowing down. They have a pretty creative and cool looking pair coming up to celebrate this month's 420. These are inspired by rolling papers. And once you rip away the rolling paper, you get to see the fuzzy green, hairy suede green underlay inspired by the birds. And I'm digging the creativity on these. I think these look awesome. We got some on foot looks at the new colorway of Drake's Knock the Shoe. These are inspired, of course, by the Nike Flight 95. It might as well just have called these the Jason Kidd 95 reimagines at this point. I mean, they're okay, but I certainly wouldn't buy a pair. What do you guys think? Right, so before we talk about some of the exciting sneakers upcoming this week, let's talk about a couple of rumors of sneakers potentially releasing or restocking this week. You guys over in the US might have seen on the sneakers app, Nike ran a little cheeky poll where they asked you personally if they were to restock the Lost and Founds, what would you do? Would you keep quiet or would you tell the group chat? And apparently, something like 67% of you guys said you would keep quiet indicating that the sense of community has kind of fallen out of the bottom of sneaker culture what do you guys think about that these are all rumors but you may well see the lost and founds restocking next week on the nike sneakers app so just make sure you are checking the app regularly there was also another poll up regarding the jordan 4 thunders asking something like if they were to release early would you be on team early or would you be waiting for launch day I'm not sure how many people they would have expected to forfeit the opportunity to cop early and wait for the launch day because surely just any opportunity to cop at all would be welcomed. But this has had certain people talking that there may well be a shock drop of the Jordan 4 Yellow Thunders next week. So something else to keep an eye out for. Right, so in terms of sneaker releases this week, there really are just a couple of worthwhile mentions in my opinion. On Tuesday here in the UK, you have the G-Dragon Peace Minus One Quando Ones. No look past from me on these but I'm sure these will be popular amongst some of you guys out there. On Thursday the 20th the Run the Jewels SB High and Low are coming out. Make sure you guys are checking in with your local skate stores for raffles in store or online on Instagram or via their websites. These are on the Nike sneakers app in a drawer. I like both pairs. I'm going to be going for both and I'll happily take either either or both if I can get my hands on them. And then on the 22nd on Saturday you have the Jordan 1 High washed pink. Clean colorway definitely a shoe I can see being popular with some people out there but another pass from me. Anything coming out this week you guys are thinking about copying feel free to let me know. And there we have it that is this week's sneaker wrap. Make sure you guys go and follow me over on the IG so you can keep up to date with all the stuff going on in my stories and go and follow me over on TikTok if you are enjoying my short form content and have yourselves a lovely weekend. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take care for now and peace.